Kia ora team, my name's Ben and this gorgeous human being is Joey. Lovely. Alright, name that coronary artery disease. What do we have this time? It looks like a STEMI or an ST elevated myocardial infarction. Okay, looking at our coronary artery, what do we see? Well, we see atherosclerosis, we see a thin fibrous cap, and it looks like it's ruptured, and it's injured or damaged the inner layer of the blood vessel, and as I said in the previous videos, if you cut yourself, you're damaging the blood vessel, a clot is going to form. And here, we've got a massive clot that is formed. So what's the difference? between our unstable angina, our non-STEMI, and our STEMI with regards to the clot? Well, the difference is the size of the clot. So for a STEMI, this clot is huge, and it's blocking the whole of the lumen, meaning that no blood flow can get by or pass. Good. So our non-STEMI, it was a partial occlusion. Our unstable angina, it was a bit smaller, but our STEMI, full occlusion. Wonderful. So what's this full occlusion of our coronary artery going to do to our myocardium? It's going to cause a transmural infarction. So death, infarction, death of cardiac tissue, it's going to affect the whole wall. Okay, so trans, across or through, so all the way through. Excellent. Well, not excellent if this is happening to you. So when they get to hospital, and they get their troponin blood test, what's it going to show? Definitely an, a, a rise, or it's going to be elevated. Okay, because troponins in our blood that are elevated, what's that showing us? That's showing um, cell injury, or death, or infarction, because when the cells infarct, they release what's inside them, and there's a protein called troponin that's inside the cardiac cell, and that is released, and we can do a blood test that can measure that troponin, which is specific to cardiac cells. All right, STEMI is part of which bit of coronary artery disease? Acute coronary syndrome. All right, good work. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, there's whoa, more? Whoa, whoa, there's whoa, more? Whoa. Oh, I'm sorry. Diagram. <laughs> Show me what the ECG looks like. Okay, so we've got the P wave. Q, RS, and then what happens is that we get this ST elevation here. Cool, so this ST segment here, if we drew a line, it is raised. And that is no good. All right, so when we're looking at this, it kind of looks like a big semicircle. What do they call that? Tombstones. Uh, why would they call it tombstones? Because there's an increased chance of the person dying. Okay. ST elevation. <laughs> now we're done. <laughs>